Before we start part 2, I just want to reiterate that I'm no expert in the subject of special relativity. I just have this cool visualization I'd like to show you, but it takes a bit of explanation to get there. Back to the story. Now let's watch Bubble do her 10 year round trip, this time using a Lorentz transformation. As she starts accelerating, notice how the graph is squishing more and more. Remember, this is required to keep Bubble's trajectory horizontal and the light rays perfectly diagonal. Which astonishingly, they still are! That means the speed of light is still one light year per year, even though Bubble is going very quickly north relative to Leafy. Of course, from her own frame of reference, she's still perfectly still. Recall that fast-moving objects move slower in time. Well, now we can see why. From Leafy's perspective, every vertical grid line is a year, so she will age one year every time she crosses a vertical grid line. None of Bubble's endeavors really affect Leafy's age. But for Bubble, time must contract quite a bit for the transformation to still work. Even with the space-time graph twisting and turning, she still can age one year only when she travels this chunk forward in time. Remember, even from this perspective, pure left and right are still forwards and backwards in time in the same place, and pure up and down are up and down in space, but at the same time. That means that looking at this dark vertical band in the middle of the screen tells you exactly Bubble's frame of reference at that moment. Okay, this simulation has been way too slow, so let's watch it again but a bit faster. Hold on, we said fast moving objects advance slower in time. So in the long run, Bubble will age slower. But from Bubble's perspective right here, Bubble is perfectly still, and Leafy is flying south at 70% the speed of light. Shouldn't Leafy age slower from Bubble's perspective? Yes, you can see that she actually does. Bubble is 8, while well, Leafy's only 7. If Leafy stays young when Bubble moves fast, how does she end up older in the long run? In other words, it's that classic paradox. Leafy sees Bubble go away fast and come back fast. Bubble sees Leafy go away fast and come back fast. It should be symmetrical, right? Each character's view of the other is the same. So how does Bubble end up younger, which is clearly not the same? The answer is in Bubble's acceleration. At 3 points, Bubble accelerates, whereas Leafy never does. Unlike velocity, acceleration is not relative, meaning that regardless of whose frame of reference you're following, you'll always see Bubble as the one who's accelerating, and Leafy as the one who's not. Watch what this acceleration does to Bubble's view during her turnaround. As Bubble turns around, her slice of the universe rotates through space-time, giving her a different frame of reference. This doesn't happen to Leafy. As Bubble decelerates, she sees Leafy rapidly age, several times faster than herself. Note that Leafy will never see her equivalent of that, of Bubble rapidly aging. That's because Leafy never accelerates. Back to Bubble's perspective now. More distant objects, like Yoyo Land, age even faster, so much so that Yoyo Land blows up before Ice Cube's star. Let that sink in. From Leafy's perspective, the two exploded simultaneously. But from Bubble's perspective, Yoyo Land explodes years before Ice Cube's star even senses any trouble. Also notice that even though Leafy, Yoyo Land, and Ice Cube's star are all still relative to each other, and are all the same age relative to each other, Bubble sees them as very different ages, with Yoyo Land being the oldest. By the time Bubble gets back home, Leafy is already 17 years old, while Bubble is merely 15, despite the fact that they were born at the same time. However, Bubble's last deceleration is so extreme, Leafy's aging slows dramatically, and time appears to go backward for the more distant and desolate Yoyo Land. When Bubble slows to a complete stop relative to the other objects, she discovers that Leafy, Yoyo Land, and Ice Cube Star are once again the same age, and the only evidence left that Bubble made her round trip at all is the fact that she's nearly three years younger. Another thing, even though I say objects are aging faster and slower and all that, remember this. From their own perspective, each object is still aging at the normal rate of one year per year. I mean, Leafy is not watching her skin rot away real time in front of her own eyes. Things only appear to age faster from the perspective of other objects that are moving at very different speeds. 